Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's been a while since I've actually did a pickups video. Um, it's the end of the week. It's been a, a long week, so I'm just going to have a couple beers and then go to bed. I have to get up early, but I feel like doing this video. Um, I think I've accumulated enough stuff to really make a, make a good video. Uh, the first, actually, couple things I'm going to go over. I'm going to try to do this in one take. So no intro or anything like that, but uh, I was really excited. I, uh, I'm glad I checked my email because the email that's associated with this channel, I don't always check, but I did see a message from Do You Nerd and uh, Tom was kind enough to uh, reach out and ask if I wanted these books. And I was like, heck yes. Uh, anything Motu, Master of the Universe, definitely want. And there's a couple of books. We have The River of Ruin, and we have Skeletor's Flower of Power. And there are, let's see, how many? So one, two, three, four, five, six total. Uh, so I don't know. I may look into the other uh, four books, see if I can find them for a good deal. But I like how in both of them, they kind of have it set up. And they kind of give you the brief history of, like, Eternia as we know it in terms of Prince Adam's time and, and how uh, his mom came to Eternia and all that and then it gets into the story of Eternia some stories here of some characters that we know and love from the Motu universe or planet Eternia so great stories it's great to read uh, I really appreciate that I reached out and asked if I wanted these um, so yeah thank you so much Tom um, and uh, Lacey for Do Nerd for the lovely books highly appreciated um, but staying with the motu theme i did find these at bull moose if you follow um dan from rebel gaming club although his channel name has changed uh, he likes to go to bull moose he's in the northeast and we have bull mooses and, and sometimes you can find a great deal and i was looking and for three dollars they had Motu, pre-owned Motu uh, weapons. And so these are actually the old school weapons. Like you could buy weapons packs and things like that. But um, some of them, like we have like the red blasters from um, Zodak. There's black ones there. And we have He-Man's Axe. And then we have, that came from the weapons packs, like the blue axe. That's for uh, Castle Grayskull there, that sword. We have a shield. Um, the blue one is um, the Stinkors. I think we have Web Store's gun. Did Web Store have a gun? I'd have to look to see who that is. But anyway, there's a lot of good weapons in here. And for $3, geez, I could sell um, one of these items and get and make more. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep these and use them and display them with the with the Motu figures I have, but I thought that was a really cool pickup. So yeah, Bull Moose, me and the family are in Bull Moose and found that, and that was great. Now, going over uh, another um, item that was given to me, again, greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm in a text group with HDR, Hidden Game Room, another great channel. Um, do you nerd uh, hidden game room great channels um, Rebel gaming club did with Dan. I wish I could remember his see I watched the videos, but I can't remember the channel name uh, You changed it, but he's uh, it's a great channel too. Uh, shoot, but yeah Anyway, HGR hit up the uh, The group chat and asked he said he got a good deal on these NES games and if any of us wanted any and I was like oh Simon's Quest it was a game I actually had at one point but for some reason during a purge I had uh, gotten rid of that game it's a shame too because it was one I grew up with my next door neighbor had it I always had fun playing with it I mean it's really cryptic it's hard to figure out I never beat it but uh, it's one that he was giving out and he sent it to me and so it was great it was huge huge thank you um, it's very nice. It's the great thing about the uh, community. Always um, 
they know you're into something, they'll hit you up if they have an item that they think they may be interested in. And that's exactly what happens. And uh, so highly appreciative. Cheers. Now, one thing I wish I did have, or I would show a picture, maybe I'll show a picture sometime in a later video. So thinking about like retro games, um, because I have been playing, when I do play games, I didn't play any last weekend uh, because of karate tournament and kid kids games and stuff like that. Um, I actually was playing games and I was like, man, this looks like crap. And so I actually went on Facebook Marketplace and I uh, was looking for a CRT TV, see if anybody was selling one or anything like that. And I came upon one that said free. And I was like, oh gosh, heck yeah. And so Samsung, I think it's Samsung, is it Samsung? Is it Titron or Tri Triton? I don't know, Triton. Um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but it, it's like they said 36 inch TV um, and it said it's heavy and awkward. And so I matched the guy saying, hey, it's all right if I come in and look at it and all that. He's like, yeah, but you're going to need, you are going to need help. Um, and, and I didn't even think of anything of it. I said, well, I am interested in it. And I looked up the TV, 235, uh, 230 pounds of TV. Huge. And it's a huge TV. Um, and so when I picked it up, I had my oldest boy with me. We had a Toyota RAV4. has a lot of space in the back which was good um, because it took it up and it was it, it's a big TV it's a massive TV he showed it it works and all that stuff it sounds and looks great um, getting in the house uh, thankfully we just live on one floor so well we have the basement but we only have one floor so that was nice just took a couple of blankets my son pushed and I pulled on the blanket Shh, smooth and slick right into the computer room. It became a floor model because I don't dare put it on anything because I feel like it would just smash whatever I would put on top of it. So it's a floor model now, but yeah, it's great to have, looks and sounds great. Oh man, it's so good to actually have a TV to play retro games. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm gonna try to do that this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like, I mean, cause Halloween's coming up, right? So doing like a, um, Brett Omen Legacy of Kane playthrough, or um, I really want to get back into speedrunning Mercs and try speedrunning uh, Streets of Rage for the Genesis. So, I don't know. Let's see what I end up doing there uh, if I play games this weekend, which I want to do. But anyway, now back to the pickups. So, the pickups. So, I've had a lot of fun with the Turtles turtle figures because for one they're cheap and I can actually find them in stores so it's been it's been fun picking them up here and there um, now that my student loans are um, back into play at least for a few more years I have high loans um, and so uh, definitely the way the funds funnel are, are a lot different now so not as much play money but that's okay uh, but I did pick these up and we are going to go over everything that I picked up. Now, the first set, I saw that this was a set and I was like, you know, I'm really intrigued. This is actually kind of cool. I am going to keep them carded. And, um, these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, movie figures. I thought these were kind of neat. Uh, they're different and they remind me of the movie and the cards look nice. We have Leonardo. So I'll try to get like probably plastic cases for them to keep them nice, nice, nice. Michelangelo. I think they look really good though. I think they did a good job. And I mean, the figures are $10 at Walmart. Or $9.97 to be exact. So one of my favorite turtles growing up, Donatello. And the last one, last but not least, my favorite turtle, Raphael. Shoo. 
I think that's kind of neat. I like the, uh, you can see there are the clips from the movie. But yeah, I thought that was neat. And I thought it was a kind of good uh, subset there. So I decided to pick them up here and there as I went to Walmart and picked things up. But yeah, good subset. Now I wasn't gonna go after these, but again, because they're actually available in stores and they're cheap, um, definitely was like, you know what? I'm gonna get them. I liked, I loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, Playmate toys, so let's do it. Let's go, if they keep putting them out, let's see, and they're gonna keep just charging 997, keep going with it. We're gonna keep rolling with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, uh, so t one that I didn't have, because um, I do have wing nut and screw loose, um, but I didn't have Genghis Frog from this wave. Now, I do have like Leatherhead and Baxter Stockman. See, the one interesting thing though with this wave is we see the Rat King. Now, Rat King couldn't find anywhere, and I don't know if he was available at any time for something, but. But I want to show you something. My new wave came out. And so, one of the new waves is Mondo Gecko. Not a figure I'm familiar with. But if you look here, we don't see the Rat King at all. So I don't know if it's a figure that just they were planning on um, putting out, but they didn't. Um, but yeah, I don't see the Rat King there. But yeah. But anyway... Mondo Gecko. I am going to open this up. Not tonight. I'm not going to open like Genghis Frog I will as well, but I'm not going to tonight. Another one, because they did have come out uh, with this one, I just picked it up. I did buy, pick up the retro one um, this summer, but as I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick this up. And that is April O'Neil. Because it has all the accessories. I don't have all the accessories, but now I do. And and having this, I thought this was, couldn't help myself. I was like, yeah, definitely going to pick her up. And at least as far as the, um, you know, the cross cell in the back, uh, the only other one in this new wave that I saw, and I saw it in stores, and so I had to pick him up, was Ray Filet. Again, not really familiar with him. And the whole grim scheme of things and the cartoon and things like that and the old um, toys. But I thought he looked, I think he looks really cool though. I think definitely a good addition to the um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. So, so as it sees, at least from the cross cell here, I have all the figures that they've come out with except for the storage cell. I'm not interested in the storage cell ones, just the, um, the original Turtles the retro turtles which I do have so yeah I will open those I'll do a separate video uh, for opening those uh, that is really all my pickups um, for for tonight again I think it's super cool and really appreciative of the Masters of the Universe books in Simon's Quest appreciate you guys a lot and um a lot of good things so i still have that holy grail video i still have to do i actually am putting it together um i just am slow it's just uh i am slow no excuses as in i'm just slow but yeah that's gonna do it for me how about you you guys collecting any of the uh, T tmnt figures or um any of the Motu figures. I'm so frustrated with um, with Masterverse. I've pretty much given up. I can't find any of the ones I want. Um, same thing with Origins. I'm pretty much done with those because, yeah, can't find them. Not worth the trouble. And, you know, they're not cheap buying them online. Um, more expensive than buying them in the store. So, oh well. But that's going to do it for me tonight. And, uh, and so until next time, I'll probably do an unboxing of these uh, these turtles here. And maybe I'll bring them all out too. Maybe we'll take a look at all of them. That'd be kind of cool. 
All right. Well, until next time, we will see you. Bye.